What you're seeing is more than just a jukebox. It and other vending machines add up to one of the biggest money-making industries in Texas. It's also one of the least regulated industries since Texas Supreme Court rulings struck down the constitutionality of past laws. And regulation is important because there are large vending machine corporations in Texas that annually make literally millions of dollars. And although it's never been proved, Police and vendors who will talk about it strongly believe some syndicate money is behind some vending operations. And on top of all that, many vendors wind up owning clubs after they loan out money, then foreclose on the loan. We loan monies occasionally, or uh, advance commissions, etc., to uh, help people get started in, in the club business. They don't perform, they decide to get out, and we have no recourse to take it over. Most vending operators in the state have let legislators know they do want control. Without it, they say competitive push could come to shove, especially over sites for vending machines, and somebody, they say, could get hurt. Dallas and Fort Worth police say they aren't having any troubles with strong-arm tactics now, but they have in the past. They say they don't want to see it again. The vending machine business in Texas is very competitive, apparently sometimes unethical, and deals in very big money. And legislators and legitimate operators with whom we've talked tend to agree that the industry must be controlled and licensed, and apparently sometimes operators even have to be protected from each other. Tracy Rallett, Channel 8 News.